This panel is connected. This panel is connected. This panel is not connected. Hello and welcome back. And uh, this charge controller, this Victron MPPT 120, is uh, being powered by two 330 watt panels, which you saw outside a second ago. I have another uh, 250 watt panel on the roof, which is coming in through the roof there at the moment, and right around the window. And that's not connected. So to connect it, I need something. I need more Victron. So because I need help, I bought another Victron solid charge controller because, you know, one isn't enough. But in all seriousness, because I've got two different types of panels, I need two different types of charge controller. So 330 watts on there, 250 watt is on here, them together. It gives me other options as well, like I can change the load control outputs on both and stuff. And it's just fun to play with. And on top of that, I've also got another it really stupidly expensive Victron cable to plug into the Pi. So this is the unit itself. It's physically smaller than the one that I'm thinner because this one's got like a heat sink on the back, I guess, because it's a higher current. This is only 10 amp, but 10 amp it shall be fine. And uh, you see it's all potted at the bottom there, which is rather interesting underneath. So, uh, yeah, first thing I'll do is just bung it on the wall, get some screws, screw that on. And then we'll wire it up, and these are quite easy to wire up. So, battery, where it says battery, PV, which is your solar, photovoltaic, in there. Load, uh, we're going to leave disconnected for now, because we've got our load on this one. And then, boom. So that's it. Wire that into the battery, and solar to solar, and done, it's done, and do-do-do. Boom, and there you go. What ba da And that's wired in. So screw to the wall, wired in. Battery plus a negative. The solar minus and positive i said that completely wrong but you know what i mean and we have a blue flashy light so we need to go into the app and see if it works right i was trying to be clever and somehow this didn't record audio so it hasn't so anyway this is editing matt here hello what i'm trying to show here is the victron connect app and connected bluetooth at all the victron devices in z shed and you can see i've got the new solar charge controller which i've just clicked on and it's connecting this is working well so connects and then says enter pin. The pin on a new Victron is always zero 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 zero. That's six zeros. Reconnects and then it will come up with a message saying update. And it's like, oh no, I need to update it. So I'll click update and then it sits here and it downloads the update. Then I spend some time worrying about whether or not this is going to take long, whether I need to pause the video or not. And I decide to not pause it. So you're here counting. The percentage is going up and then I get fed up and I pause it anyway and here we go pause and it's updated so woohoo so we can click continue to this and then we go back into the solar charge controller go back into the solar charge controller there we go we can reconnect and it shouldn't ask us for a pin anymore because it's remembered and we're in and it says us to update so I get a bit annoyed by this because it's asked us to update again. So we have to click update and go through the same process. And I pause the video. And then it's continued. It's passed. Woohoo. Continue. Click continue. And then we connect again. See how this is repetitive. Again, reconnecting. And finally we are in. And it's shown us all again. Don't ignore that. You normally change the pin code to something secure, but for this we're not. And you can see all the voltages and stuff from the charge controller. And it's giving us some things. And do you want to enable this photos feature? Yes, we do. And then we go into settings, which we cock at the top. Go into battery. We go into battery. No, we don't. We go into V Smart Networking and we want to join our network. And this one I was meant to click on Solar Shed, but I click on the wrong network. So it, it creates a network instead. Because, you know, I know what I'm doing. So, OK. Leave the network is what I click on then. Because I suddenly realized of what I've done. Join network is then what I click on. Solar Shed, because that's my network. And. Ta da! This means the side of the charge controller can now talk to all the other Victron devices. So it can talk to the battery shunt, the uh, battery sensors, and the other charge controller. So it can synchronize itself with everything. So that's what we want. So we can then go back. Oh, I'm probably talking about something else boring here. 
What am I doing? What am I doing? Right, anyway, we want to go into battery there. We go for battery presets, which is factory default. We want to click on the factory default box. We want to do select presets. And we have got a lithium ion, smart lithium ion. So I scroll all the way down to the bottom, click the bottom one, click OK, and it's changed all the settings, updated all the settings for a lithium ion battery. And all I do here, I just lower the temperature cut off to four degrees because five degrees is a bit too warm for my liking because we're always cold around here. And have a look in the quick expert mode because why not? And that's pretty much it really from here. Then I just sort of muck around in the menu for some bizarre reason. Don't really know what I'm doing. Again, select presets, I'll go through this list again. I don't know why, because I've already selected it. Click OK. Right, is that it? Am I done? Who knows what I'm doing now? I'm probably talking about rubbish. Right, and then I very briefly look in. Ah, right. Anyway, I'm back. Hello. So this is the VRM portal. This is a different app. I don't know how many to jump here, but I have. And in the PV charger, you see there's only one charger showing. So I want to connect the charger to the VRM. And that's what I do now. And I'm going to do that with my very expensive 30 pound cable. Uh, so under here, there's a communication port that's currently got a little tab in it, got a little jumper. This jumper needs to come out. Use my tiny hands for this. Ugh. That jumper goes out, comes out. And then, where's the cable gone? It's in between my legs. Hey, um, this plugs in to there somehow. Uh, using, oh, why did I not fit that first before I screwed it to the wall? That would have been sensible. It's upside down. It's upside down. That doesn't help. It's like a phantom USB cable, isn't it? Oh, no, it was all right around. Oh, no. Right, come on. Oh, sod this. And it's effortless to plug in, as you can clearly tell. And then the other end of the USB cable, which again has gone in between my legs, which is, there's the little um, isolator box and the USB cable, just goes in to any USB port of the Raspberry Pi. And again, it's upside down. Oh, come on. There we go. See, I know what I'm doing. And on the VRM portal device list, I have a new solar charger seen a minute ago. So let's go back to the dashboard. And we have two solar charge controllers sitting in there. So the two 330 watt panels, I'm going to rename that one to the 250 watt panel. And there we go. No charge because it's nighttime, but it's all working. So that's how we do that. And, uh, you have to let you know how this goes and hopefully have a bit more power in the winter that's the plan anyway give it a little bit of help but yeah if you need to just add more victron right for now i shall see you later goodbye